What now if you determine that after the conflict or over time, the relationship just needs to end? And the unknown can be the scariest thing. We tend to kind of catastrophize the worst, but I've noticed in some cases, it's not as bad as what we were thinking of the end result. Well, often, you know, if you're the end point of somebody like firing you or letting you go, for a lot of people, like this turns out to be one of the best things ever. <laughs> They're like, I did not even know how much it sucked being in that job with that person in that moment and how much this next thing is better for me. So there's absolutely that, but you can't really manage the outcome, but you can manage the process. So I'm like, how do you choose to depart? And you can kind of sneak out the door and just vanish like a ghost. And that could be the right thing to do. You could burn the bridges, burn the boats, go out an explosion of whatever. That could be the right thing to do. Uh, often not, but it could be. Or you could find a way to be a generous and appreciative and kind of thank and recognize and speak to what you're taking away and what was good about this. And you can leave in that moment as well. Unfortunately, you don't always get what you're hoping for. All you get to do is control your behavior around this and how you might choose to leave and how you might actually depart. So the choices are there. As with all of these things, there's no right answer all the time. But the more you can be active about the choice you want to make, the more likely you are to get what you want.